every bone in our body is telling us to run in the opposite direction. It's incredibly common. Yeah, and today we're doing a deep dive on how to say no. We've got some really interesting strategies here to like actually navigate those situations where, you know, you kind of feel trapped into saying yes when you really want to say no. Yeah, because it can be really hard to it, say no. It really can. It right. really, really can. So we're looking at this text and right off the bat it's talking about how we often say yes without even realizing like, what we're really signing up for. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't think it through. Exactly. So the text is all about asking yourself these like empowering questions, I guess, before you commit to anything. Right, because like if you don't even know what you're getting yourself into, how can you actually make a good decision? And a big one, I think, is considering the opportunity cost, right? Like when it comes to our time, that's a big one for me. Because if you're saying yes to one thing, you're inherently saying no to something else. Absolutely. Time is such a valuable resource yeah. and it's finite. So you're right. It's about recognizing that every yes has a flip side. Like yeah. if you're constantly saying yes to last minute requests or favors, are you sacrificing time you could be spending on your own priorities? Totally. And that kind of ties into, well, this idea of checking in with your values, right? right? Which is another point this text really emphasizes. Like, hold on a second. Does this thing I'm about to say yes to, does it actually align with what I care about? It's about getting clear on your priorities and values and then making sure that your actions are reflecting those. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, saying no, it can be the most self-care thing you can do. Oh, 100%. It's like that saying, if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. I love that. It's so true. It's so true because I think for so long I used to think saying no was selfish. Right. But it's not because like, and this actually reminds me, you know, a while back I was working on this project. Oh my gosh. It was just a nightmare from the beginning. I mean, it had potential, but I was so burned out from other commitments. I remember thinking if I could just go back and hit the rewind button. So thinking back to that project, where do you think those empowering questions could have made a difference? Like what if you had asked yourself before taking it on, is this gonna push me closer to burnout? Honestly, that one question alone, game changer, totally. Because I mean, I was already feeling stretched thin you know, like something had to give. And instead of saying no and kind of protecting my energy, I just kept saying yes. You live and you learn, I guess, right? You do. And the good news is you can apply these questions moving forward. And you know, there's another powerful one from the text I wanted to bring up. Have you been in this situation before? Like, did you say yes to something similar and later regret it? It's so funny you mentioned that because yeah, I mean, how many times have I been down that road before? Exactly, sometimes we keep repeating the same patterns. But by reflecting on past experiences like you're doing now, you can gain really valuable insights mm -hmm. and start to make different choices. Yeah, and I think, honestly, like as we're talking about all this, if you're listening and this resonates with you, just think about a time, you know, where you might be tempted to say yes out of habit. Maybe even right now you're dealing with something. And use this, like use those empowering questions as a sort of like a filter. It's such a good way to check in with yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, does this opportunity or request truly excite me? Does it align with my goals? Or am I just saying yes out of obligation or fear of missing out? It's about giving yourself permission to make a different choice, you know? Absolutely. And the more you practice those conscious choices, the easier it becomes to set those healthy boundaries. It really is a practice. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive. Remember, saying no can actually be incredibly empowering. You're in control. You are. Don't be afraid to use your voice. That's so good. And we'll see you next time.